That camera's awesome. That's the best camera ever. That's got a better it's zoom than this It's all dirty and shit. They killed, they killed the motherfucker. Them two Muslims. Oh, they killed that motherfucker. They need to kill more of them. That was in that Muhammad thing, like we we hope some goddamn Muslims come up in here. <laughs> yeah, they just, you see how they on? Yeah, they are. You ain't fucking with you goddamn Muslims ain't fucking with no rednecks. They they hope your ass go up in there. They wish a motherfucker would. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a picture of had George Bush making an expression on his face like ISIS tried to attack Texas. <laughs> You know, actually, you know, I'll tell you what, when ISIS really do, they gonna fuck them Texans up. But you know, Texas, Texas is the same as free as people think. You know, Ohio has more lax gun laws than Texas. We can open carry in Ohio. You seriously? You can't do that in Texas. I well, didn't know so, that though. Yeah, I can. You're and, about well, rifles. supposedly, you know, pistols, rifles. You go, you name it. You can walk down the street with a goddamn. A rifle over your shoulder with a pistol on your side. They're about to pass a law where you ain't got to have a concealed weapons carrying oh, yeah? permit. Well, that's the Second Amendment. It says you ain't supposed to... That's, that's the permit right there. Yeah, they said you can go up in the state house downtown with a rifle over your shoulder. Yeah, that was here with them, uh, the Black uh, black Panthers. That was here. Yeah, right? was yeah they was like 500 of them. Yeah. Yeah, that was here. You should have the right to have weapons. I thought they were all confident. Well, that's I it. thought they was all what set up. Them Black Panthers are set up. Yeah. I thought they were all set up. They all look like cops, lawyers, and you know what I'm saying. The motherfuckers carrying fifteen hundred dollar, two thousand dollar ARs. Yeah, I can't afford that shit. Niggas, you know what I'm saying. So ain't no regular nigga get four hundred shit like yeah, that. Some drug dealers. You know yeah, what I'm saying. Dealer, okay. A lot of more drug dealers. Yeah, 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 yeah. There goes your boy. What's his name? Stinky? Or is... Who? Oh, that's your boy from the, uh, from the flea market. Collector's oh, corner. I say he went to school went with to school it. With <laughs> oh, we got to get him to holler at us. But he's a Jew, too. So cold. You don't want to fuck with him. He'll ask you for a ride, ask you for $5 and everything. Yeah, ask you if you got any Bears cards. Yeah, ask, he collects cards. He'll rob it. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, dude, dude, dude. What's up, homie? You ain't got them Barry Bonds? You ain't got the Chicago Bears cards? Oh, really? Yeah. He got banned from the Expo. You don't remember that? He got banned from the Expo? He used to go up in gyms and eat all of his cookies. He used to buy a pack of cookies every day. He'd go in there just to eat all the cookies. What's up, homie? I know you, man. Hey, you used to be up at Collector's Corner. <laughs> He's like, that ring is You don't know. He ain't fucking with me. He just got off the boat from Cuba. You see, they got a ferry going to Cuba now. This douchebag over here. So they started it already. Was it effective media? I don't know. I didn't really look at I it. I saw that. That's pretty cool. Just a good way for them to sneak nukes into life. Oh yeah. Castro and they said Castro is a big time drug dealer. Castro is a big piece of shit. They look like pieces of shit. They are too. I'm talking about they some revolutionary. Look at this. Black bitch with a mohawk, <laughs> looking like uh, in living color. Look at that bitch right there. No, you know not. You remember that that rock and roll group? That uh, living color. They had that song. How's it go? Cult of personality. Look, that bitch look like cult of personality. Cult of personality. Yeah, that's a good song too. I never could get into that. You know they played on the radio all the time. They played them out. Yeah. I never could get into it. Yeah. What's up, though? I'm learning about it, man. Yeah. He said, okay. hell no. Fuck All right, you're like, okay. Okay. The most I said, fuck you. Bro. Okay. That's what we like. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we applauded destruction. That's right. That's right. That's fine. We're not book bad. We're <laughs> supposed to get all, all turned over heads, you know? I don't give a fuck. You want to flip out over there? Okay. 
He's just doing his job. Yeah, that's right. And a two-thirds. He got to have two-thirds. Somebody got to be two-thirds. <laughs> it ain't going to be me. You know what I mean? Somebody smoke a nasty ass roll. Uh, bring it out, bro. They smoking a blunt over there. Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man is to perceive the evil and hide it from himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Oh, that's a simple pass it on. We try to tell them about the Bible, they just passed on. You offended by the picture? You familiar with Renaissance art? Yes. You familiar with Renaissance art? Yes. That's Renaissance art. Yeah, that's not the, that's not the image of Jesus. Offensive. Why is it offensive? Because that's, that's not the Lord. He don't look, he don't look like that. You read the point? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? You mean that uh, he was not blonde, he was not blue eyed. He didn't right. have long hair either. Man. The Lord was a black man. Yes, he was Hebrew. Right. Man. That's not a that's not a Hebrew that's Israelite. Right there. That's yeah. yeah, that's him, bro. That's a Hebrew Edomite. Don't you know the Bible says it's a shame for a, for a man to have long hair. <laughs> it's a shame to have long hair. Fish part of the Bible. It's in the Bible. The Bible got, says that. Oh, you guys? Well, first guy long hair. Huh? Nah, he's talking about long, like a woman. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and, 11 and uh, 14. Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? So, that's that, like a rock star. And that's written by Paul. Paul met Jesus personally. He knocked him off the horse. He's seen him. You know what I'm saying? He he talked to him, so he should know. But let me get his let me get his image. Yeah. His image. That's his last days. So that's why the prophets on the streets right now. Revel, revelate, you know, bring out their truth, we reveal it. We're pulling off that shade off of the off of falsehood. Here you go. This is Revelation one and thirteen, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks. One like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and a girdle about the pants with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White. Does he got white hair? It ain't got no white hair. Is it like wool? It is not like wool either. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine. See, that's the world. I mean, this is grass, isn't it? No, no, no. That's that's bootleg. He said grass is burning and furnished. I'm originally from Middle East, and Jesus was Hebrew. Boy, it's Hebrew though. Pardon? You know that you know those Jews over there in Israel today? No. They're not real Jews. No, they are not. They are coming from Europe. You know, uh, right? You know the uh, Chinese and Japanese? They're Hebrews. Yep. That, Hebrew. They're, they're Hebrews. They're from the line of, they came out of Shem. There are many different Hebrews. You have Hebrew Ammonites, Hebrew Edomites, Hebrew Moabites, and Hebrew Israelites. I completely agree with you that uh, depicting Jesus Christ as a blonde North European person <laughs> is a lie. There's a lie. He was not uh, actually blonde because blonde people were not living there. Uh, and, uh, oh, there were a lot of blondes there. Yeah, there was. <laughs> there was a lot of. Yeah, that's why they mention it in the Bible, because it matters. Because right now the world thinks that this devil who the eat who the, who are the so-called Edomites, the so-called white man, they think he's God. When the most high and the Lord himself are black men. What, what's your nation, man? What, what's your nationality? I'm Kurdish. You're Kurdish? Yeah. You still could be one of us though. Because we left our seed over there. Yeah, a lot of the Kur uh, Kurds. You could still be one of us. A lot of the Kurds are Israelites. Right. A lot of, even a lot of the Kurds got uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. Well, they got blue eyes, don't they? My, uh, How do they get blue eyes in the desert? My grandfather was just similar to you. Right. Yeah. Blue eyed, blonde beard and hair. So, but I am not blonde. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Do uh, you believe in the Bible? Do you read the Bible? It's a book. Are you probably in Israel? Yeah, Israel is scattered among all nations. Yeah, let me get that. Let me get some scattered. Is it even, like you mentioned the Norse. Don't media, you, media are mentioned in Bible. You mentioned the Norse. Even the Norse were Israelites. Oh. Because they, they'd, uh, they've been plagued with the plague of leprosy. 
the Bible, see the Bible tells you the origin of uh, light skin. It even tells you that a lot of Israelites caught leprosy, like the Norse. Because all, <laughs> all those North, the Vikings were Israelites. Oh, yep. All we are. You are filming. Well, it's yeah. for educational purposes. So we you can teach. Not... It's all right. It's just so we can teach our brothers. That's uh, all it's for. I am. But, uh, don't worry about it. We won't put it on you. I won't, I won't, I won't put it on you. <laughs> now, don't worry about it, bro. It's just to teach our brothers. You know what I mean? It's a, that's a good thing. Internet because uh, it's pretty dangerous for me. You know? Very dangerous. Oh, he's a gangster or something. No, no, no. I'm not gangster. <laughs> <laughs> no he's a problem. Kurd. You got to watch. What? See, the Muslims is over there uh, fucking those Kurds up right now, ain't they? That's they are always saying. battling the Muslims. So you're not a Muslim, are you? Oh, you are a Muslim? Yeah. What are we gonna do with you, man? <laughs> you know, that Islam is a lie. Hey, you wanna say that? It is a lie. It is. Muhammad is a, he was nothing but a warmonger. No, no, no. I, it's true, I'm bro. Not to this Don't run! Oh, oh, no, come no, on, no, bro. No, no, no. Oh, we, we blasted Muhammad. Now he's out of there. Oh. Oh, man. My fault. I he gonna go get ISIS and bring him back. Do what you're supposed to do anyway. Yeah. You know? My fault. Was, I scared him off. I blasted Muhammad. He's out of there. <laughs> but that's all Muhammad did. He just, he's a warmonger. See, the one they called Jesus Christ, he went out going, killing people, starting wars and shit. He was teaching the gospel. He went out gathering up armies to go conquer people. No. That's not what happened. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's proof that Muhammad was not a prophet. But they, they tried to. They can't even defend Muhammad. They can't. That's why they. That's why he took off. I see that. That's a fucking bitch. Look like a dude. I should have done the fat ass sack in the day. Damn, I wanted to rape that bitch. That would be the best thing to happen to a lesbian to get raped. Yeah. Hey, and that bitch sad. just fell down. <laughs> Who did? That bitch right there. I wish I would have seen it. <coughs> so them goddamn Mohammedans, with the Mohammedans, <laughs> the Muslims. See, you got a Muslim get offended so easily. They can't even sit and reason. You can't even reason with a Muslim. You know what I mean? You can't even have a discourse with them. They get offended so easily. Here you go. This is Deuteronomy 2864. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there shall and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. Right, echo, yeah, because Israel has been scattered among all nations. Like I said, uh, the, the Vikings, the Israelites, they're up there worshiping goddamn Odin, Thor, worshiping Freya. That's, a, that's not a god known to us. You know what I'm saying? So Israel scattered among all nations. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. Duh. You ain't gonna find no ease up in a heathen nation. That's why we got no ease up in America. Remember how I said like the uh, the Vikings were Israelites? You know even in America, Wednesday is named after Odin. Wednesday means Odin's day. And Thursday means Thor's day. So this is, we live in a country of a, a pagan country, a devil worshiping country. If this was a Christian nation, there would be no such thing as Thor's day and Odin's day and Saturn's day. Homosexual. Yeah, you go, we was just driving up here downtown. We drove through downtown down Broad Street and they had rainbow flags strung up on all, all the, the, the light poles. Every last light pole had a homosexual flag flying on it. But they never have like Bible scriptures posted or Bible a, a, a biblical symbolism posted. Never. That would that would be considered hate speech. But they'll post their faggot shit everywhere. That's accepted. It's just proof that they they brought it running shit. The faggots and devil worshippers run shit. They got this shit right now. That's proof right here. Um, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and a failing of eyes and a sorrow of mind. Damn, that sounds so good. A sorrowing of mind. 
I got another one to back you up. Uh, oh, you go ahead, bring it out, bro. Mike for two and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, mm. because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with restored destruction. That's right. Polluted. We don't, we don't need, I mean, the man of the Lord is crying out day and night. We don't want to be in this shit no more. Vexed like fuck, stressed the fuck out, you know? Instead of getting comfortable, looking forward to the, looking forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to tomorrow, you know? Motherfuckers is on some other shit. I looking forward to the weekend so we can go, you know? Go act, go act commit, like a commit fool. Adultery. Go commit adultery. That's no all these fools care life, about. Man. That's all they care about. Yep, yeah, there's no end to this madness, man. Or they gonna go watch that, uh, run, did y'all watch that Floyd May Mayweather fight? Hey, fuck no, man. I was, I was at my dude's uh, bar, but I ain't watching them. But you see, everybody was talking shit about Floyd, hoping that he lose. They were booing too, I They were booing. They were booing for and Floyd is undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Never been beat. And he took your boy Pacquiao to school, man. He whooped his ass. Everybody was uh, talking shit, so because they just, they, they're racist. That's why they that's why they hate him. What the they, hell is that? What is that? This thing. That's a Macy Gray. Get her on camera. <laughs> Look at that. That's a that's Buckwheat's mom. That's Esau's ambassador. That's that's, uh, that's Buckwheat's mom. That's a problem. <laughs> that's crazy. I got a scripture. I got a precept to back up what y'all just read. Psalms 44 and 14. Actually, let me start at 13. Thou makest a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking the head among the people. Don't the people shake their head at us? They look at us, they disgusted with us. Look at them fools. You know what I'm saying? And double on us since we out here reading the Bible with signs. They really looking at us like that. Not just the heathen, the other nations, everybody. Right. Our own people. <laughs> them fools out there. Especially though our women. Yeah. Our women definitely shake their head at us. <laughs> They're like, what you motherfuckers do? Y'all ain't shit. You raggedy motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They call you some raggedy motherfuckers. Raggedy motherfuckers, yo. That's the exact words of you, you raggedy motherfuckers. Last I read, the Lord is looking for just that. A raggedy, yeah. Well, <laughs> like, like. Like they described uh, John the Baptist. He's, what's that script? He brought it out last week, I believe. You seeking a man wearing what? Now bring that out. Let me keep going. My confusion, this is Psalms 44 and 15. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face covered me. For the voice of him that reproaches and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us. Yet we have not forgotten thee. Right. Neither have we dealt falsely in our covenant. So even though people talk shit, you know what I'm saying, your woman will leave you, your family uh, come up against you, we, we ain't gonna forget the most high. Right. Cause some, right. that happened to some poop, some fools, and then they'll curse the most high for it. Like, fuck the most high. He made me lose my wife. Fuck the most high. They get weak, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you're right, he did make me Right, he did. That's a good thing. Fuck that bitch. These women ain't shit. They ain't worried about no woman. This is our woman right here. Our heart is not turned back, neither have our steps declined that from that way. Though thou hast sore broken us in the place of dragons and covered us with the shadow of death. People destroyed. Yep. If we have forgotten the name of our God. Or stretch out our hands to a strange God, shall not God search this out, for he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Yea, for thy sake are we killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Mm. But that's the point on that. You know, it ain't no exaggeration in none of that either. You know, we destroyed, literally. We destroyed. These days of struggle is about at an end, though. And that's the, that's the beauty of this truth. We see it coming. Esau on his way out. Let me read his indictments. So they like indicting motherfuckers, you know? They like to indict people, send it secret indictments, indictments. 
It's a goddamn devil for your ass, man. It's a goddamn devil for your ass. Man, 5 0 was on a rampage last weekend, man. They killed the motherfucker up in Newark. I was in Newark. I see it was going crazy in Newark. Yeah, yeah. I was in Newark, yeah, yeah. Was in Newark yesterday. They had a big, I was right before we came out here, it was on the news. They had the whole shootout on camera. <laughs> the cop looked like a little bitch too shoot. He looked all scared. He was ducking. Right. And they found out dude had a BB gun. Oh, I seen he shot his ass in the hip. <laughs> they said he had a BB gun in one hand and a beer in the other. Yeah, walking down Main Street. I know exactly where they was at too. I never, that part of town is the, the nigga side of town. I never even been to Newark. Yeah, that's the black, that's the black side of town. The been, I haven't been down there since I was a kid. It's been a long time. But I heard it's, yeah, it's, it's fucking grimy down there. They come to Trojan Rubber Cellars. Oh, fuck. Detroit. Yeah, what the fuck is that, man? They rolling down the street. Mark How you every, doing? Mark every last one of them. I see you staring. She's looking at us like we're crazy. We're teaching the Bible. You believe in the Bible? It might have been Korean. These people have no clue. Because you know you got a lot of Koreans in Columbus who they believe in the Bible. I already told you the ones I was hooked up with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I got yeah, to be careful. Someone will probably know me. <laughs> like, I see you out there. Look at these heathens. Goddamn heathens. Goddamn heathens. What's up, heathens? How y'all heathens doing today? Destruction's around the corner for Death in destruction. It's yep. time for America's judgment. You know the, America. Yeah, you know the Lord's about to destroy America, right? You know, according to the Bible, America is the kingdom of Satan. How y'all heathens doing? Good. What's up, heathens? Well, it's gonna be funny with them nukes, bro. Like she's walking like she just got raped. Can't even walk straight. Got an asshole blown out. What's up, heathens? Y'all know America's about to be destroyed by the Most High, right? It's a rap for America. It's a rap. It's so proud, man. It's so proud. Now they looking back now. They think they're going to weather the storm, huh? They're going to weather the storm. Come up out of their holes and shit. And repopulate this shit again. Build America up even greater than what it was. <laughs> That's what they think. That's a funny thing. That's a joke of the day. Amos 9 that, 8. That's a good joke, man. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. America is the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right, because you know America is a sinful kingdom. Well, what's a sin? A sin is when you break a law in the Bible. The Bible said don't commit adultery. I mean, we go through the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Just the basic ten. And America breaks every last one of them. You're, in America, there's no Sabbath. It says Exodus 20. You're, you're, the first commandment says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. In America, you can worship whatever god you want. You can be a member of the Church of Satan in America. And, and you'll, you'll be protected. I'm like, Ooh. you're protected under the uh, First Amendment. Hey, bro, they be your, the, the Church of Satan is under the 501c32. Right. And people are like, well, I, I think that Church of Satan... They have the same constitutional rights as me. <laughs> I mean, these people actually say this shit. I'm like, don't you understand who Satan is? Do, have you ever heard of Satan before? Have you ever heard of a devil? What, what do you think a devil worshiper does? They worship the devil. That's right. When you worship the devil, that means you sacrifice children. You murder people, kill people. You make all kind of foul acts. That's how they get their privileges. Of course they know who the devil is. And but, they know that's how they get but privileges. But they act like, well, the Satanists are just misunderstood. <laughs> I mean, these motherfuckers is gone, man. Oh, you know what? Before I read them ticket, man, let me read that when the Lord is with the Satan uh, is with the Lord. I need a drink of water. You actually got devil worshipers out here. We, we was out here last week, and this motherfucker came up 
talking shit. He had an upside down cross carved into his chest, yelling, hell, Satan. Walking around free as can be, free as a bird. Nothing happened to him either. He, you know what I mean? He should have got put to death for that. That was back in our kingdom. He would got stones. Oh, shit. You got actual devil worshipers walking around. It's just unbelievable, man. Yeah. We got we in the same spirit as the Lord when he rejected Satan. Uh, then, I'm gonna start at the top, bro. Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards in hunger. The Lord, the Satan tried to get him when he was weak. Right, he was fasting, right. At a vulnerable time. But he's just going on right here. Um, and when the tempter came to him, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards at hunger. And when the tempter came to him and said, he said, if thou be the son of the most high Yahweh, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the most high. Right, because this is the bread of life. Right, the Lord said he was the bread of life. I'll get that scripture as a precept. Literal. Right. <laughs> you know, this is more important than that bread you actually should sit down physically and eat. Yep. Okay. Then the devil taking him up into the holy city and set a hill on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of the most high, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest any, at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Yehoshai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. He showed him America. This shit is right. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Right, that's why I just quoted uh, the first commandment. So how the hell is America a righteous nature, nation? You can worship Satan. And there's no punishment for worship Satan. You that's can right. actually be a member of the Church of Satan. That's right. Here your boy Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson, he, he performs concerts where he gets up on stage and opens a Bible and just rapes pages out of the Bible. <laughs> Why he cuts himself and shit. That's wild. And nothing happens to him. That's wild. And he gets paid, he gets rewarded. He makes millions. You know what I'm saying? All, all these rock and roll groups and ra uh, rappers, they all worship Satan. Millions of half federal reserve votes. <laughs> He had an album called Antichrist Superstar. Right. The Man. name of his album was Antichrist oh, Superstar. You never heard that album? No, no. Bro. It's that song, the album that got that song, uh, Beautiful People on it. Wow. He's a big fat guy. He used to be on stage sucking Trent Rezzer's dick on stage. <laughs> He's good friends, friends with the Osborne family. Mm. With Sharon Osborne. Mm. They, they was on the fucking TV together hanging out. So these motherfuckers know serve the Lord they can get all, all them goodies. So they know serving Satan, serving, serving Satan, they gonna get all the goodies. All them doors open up. All them all that, look, that's why that, that shooting that just happened down there in Texas. Cause you had a uh, uh, some uh some you had some people down in Texas, they had a draw Muhammad contest. And then, now I was listening to the news, I was listening to the NPR radio on the, on the what, what, driving around, and the people in NPR, they was taken up from the Muslims saying that the cartoons was hate speech. Wow. Yeah, that's how, you know, that's bugged out, man. Wow. And they was showing pictures of the Muhammad cartoons on CNN, and they was all blurred out. They, they didn't want to offend Muslims. But, but if anybody makes fun of the Bible, though, that, that's okay, because they can make fun of the Bible. 
they can have concerts with Marilyn Manson ripping pages out of the Bible. Yeah, you watch these black comedies. All that's all they do all day long to make jokes about the Bible. The Bible. Oh, you know, like that bitch uh, Sarah Silverman. Mm -hmm. Sarah Silverman. She got Saturday Night Live skits, uh, stand up acts. Yeah, she's becoming evil. Yeah, talking all kind of shit about the one they call Jesus, and they applaud her. They don't say it's hate speech. They say it's comedy. But if you you make fun of Muhammad, that's hate speech. So that goes into what he's talking about. What's that? Who's that? What you just read? Uh, who was I? I don't remember. That's what. Well, that's what I just read. Oh Food. yeah. Food. Oh yeah. That's you only have one God. You know what I mean? It's in America. I was going to read Exodus. If I if I came out here and said I was told a bunch of people, I was about to go do some yoga, and I'm a Hindu. They they'll find that very interesting. Like that's interesting. Can I come with you? If I, you know what I mean. If I told him I was going to uh, activate my chakras, if I was trying to get my chakras up, they going to help me get my chakras up. You know what I'm saying? If I said I was a Buddhist, everybody would be cool with it if you're a Buddhist. But if you believe in the Bible, then everybody got a problem with you. Because this is Satan's kingdom. That tells you the Bible's the truth. And the reason these people got a problem with the Bible because it cuts them. It cuts their spirit up. That's Here's why. Me. You'll be, if you're a Muslim, they'll accept you. If you're, you're, if you're a faggot, you'll be accepted. You know what I'm saying? If you find a rainbow flag and getting your asshole blown out, if you got goddamn AIDS, you will be accepted. But don't teach the Bible. It, get, it, getting fisted. Getting fisted. Yeah, you got, I mean, that's, that's, you got the right to love whoever you want. You can get married and fist your husband. Right? A man can marry a man and fist each other and spread AIDS all over the earth, and that's fine. But just don't believe in that Bible. Because the world hates us. That the world does not hate Muslims. They do not hate Hindus and Buddhists. They don't hate people. Love and embrace ag, uh, agnostics. If you're an atheist, you'll have all kind of friends. Okay. But if you believe in the Bible, you'll have all kind of enemies. Go ahead. If ye, if ye were of the world, the world would love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out you know of the that's world. Wrong? That's not correct. That's not accurate. Yeah, we have you many lives. One time. Reincarnation. That's another example of foods and darkness. Big douchebag. Keep douching it up. Uh, John 15. Man, he laughed at you and the girls laughed at you. It's all right. It's all right, though. Right, he's all right. I'm sorry. Go ahead, read that. Bunch of faggots, man. Are of the world, the world, but love is own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. That's right, right. The, the Lord. Last week they put knives out of them. They're the Lord. The Lord chose us out of the world. We ain't part of this filthy ass world. That's right. Spiritually, mentally, you know what I'm saying? We just totally out of, totally out of sync with this world. Yeah, we you know? we got no love for this world at all. Right. All vibration clash with this world. John 7 and 7, the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. That's an evil world. And we out here testifying about all this evil shit to be going down. And since we call people out on their wickedness and evil, people hate us for it. We got all these faggots out here, all these sodomites, you know what I'm saying? If you're a faggot, everybody will love you if you're a faggot. Your people will love you if you're a faggot, but just don't teach the Bible, then everybody will hate you. But they love a faggot, though. You know what I'm saying? They love they love to catch AIDS and fist each other. And that's some nasty shit, fisting. Sitting there fisting each other. Could you imagine that? And we need to get that Galatians 5. I was read this in a video the other day. Uh, Galat not Galatians. Ephesians 5 and 6. I want to read it with y'all. I just made a video on it. I want to read it again. Ephesians 5. Did y'all have better insight than me? 
Ephesians 5 and 6. Um, let no man deceive you with vain words. Right, all, all these fools out here, they speaking vanity. All, everything they talk about is bullshit. It don't mean nothing. And everything, their words have no weight. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean shit. Keep going. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. Right, we, what we're dealing with the children of disobedience. Two thirds of Israel are the children of disobedience. All right? And what do you do to a disobedient child? What does all, the law in the Old Testament say to do to a disobedient child? <laughs> Bring the most of the elders and, and stone his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You know, that's beautiful, ain't it? Even the Lord called the Pharisees out for that because they didn't kill him. I'll, I'll get that precept. Hold you up. Know? I mean, that's a beautiful thing. It won't be nothing as mad that's going on, man. And we ain't just talking about uh, somebody who didn't clean their room. Right. We're talking about a bastard. A demon, you know what I mean? Oh, hold on, let me read this real quick. Mark 7 and 9. And he said unto them, This is what the, this is what the Lord, this is the red letters. This is what the Lord said to the scribes and Pharisees. He said this to the Pharisees. He said, He said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and whosoever and whoso curse a father or mother, let him die to death. That's a, that's a wicked act. You don't curse your parents like that. That's fine. He you said let him die to do. death. That's right. That's right. You fuck with your parents. Mm -hmm. And then walk away. And then the next day you with your boys still talking shit about your parents. Drunk as fuck. Right. Hey, you deserve to get put to death for that. We don't give a damn you 11 years old or what. I hear that shit all the time. Bro. People say they're just children. They don't know any better. Well, you got some children that are just demons. That, back in the day, they used to put children to death. Uh, go ahead, uh, This is um, Ephesians 8. Um, for ye, um, Ephesians 7. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. So we ain't supposed to be partakers with all these fools out here. They out here engaging in all this foolery, out here acting a fool. They got no knowledge, no wisdom, no truth. Just doing whatever the fuck they want, you know what I mean? You ain't supposed to uh, partake with the activities of a fool. Keep going. For ye were sometimes darkness, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Right, we used to be in darkness. Back in the day, the only knowledge we had was uh, the knowledge of Madden. Playing Madden, you know what I'm saying? Out acting a fool, trying to bust a rap. I'm writing my raps and I'm making a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Talking that Kimmich shit. Talking that, talking about it. Don't talk about that. <laughs> you know, cause that's what the, you know the world I was hanging around with. Man. Yeah, you talking about you, uh, you Kimmich or the ancient aliens and the Anunnaki? <laughs> Have you out here believing in the Anunnaki? And